Hello Grey Group and welcome to day three of A Very Dangerous Dinosaur. Well done for all your speedy words and your first read and your holder sentence yesterday. Today I'm going to read the story. We'll do speedy green words again. You will have a second read and then hold a sentence too. Are you ready? A Very Dangerous Dinosaur there was a rumour going round in Dinosaur Land. Stegosaurus had told Torosaurus. Torosaurus had told Brachiosaurus. And now they all knew. A new kind of dinosaur, the most ferocious yet, was stalking the forests. His name was Snatchosaurus. There was even a song about him. Fisher Snatchosaurus prowls through our lands with spikes on his feet and claws on his hands crashing through the treetops on mountainous legs making his dinner from dinosaur eggs. This sounded serious. The other dinosaurs got together to talk about it. Stegosaurus was suspicious. Taurosaurus was curious, but Brachiosaurus was furious. What a cheek, she bellowed. We herbivorous dinosaurs can't protect our eggs from the likes of him. What does herbivorous mean, Mum? squeaked baby Brachiosaurus. It means eating plants, not meat, thundered Brachiosaurus. Now shush! The next day, Stegosaurus left her nest to find food. There was one egg in the nest and it would soon be ready to hatch. As she lumbered along, munching on bits of fern, Stegosaurus thought anxiously about her precious egg. When her huge belly was full, she trotted back to the nest. The egg had gone! And Snatchosaurus was disappearing behind a fir tree, licking his enormous lips. Delicious, he declared. The day after that, Taurosaurus left her nest. She had two fine eggs and she was looking forward to having two gorgeous tiny Taurosauruses. When she returned, chewing nervously on a tree trunk, the two eggs had gone and Snatchosaurus was disappearing behind a rock, spitting out bits of shell. Marvellous, he hiccuped. The day after that, Brachiosaurus kissed her three monstrous eggs and stomped off to, to the forest. Don't leave the nest, she told Baby. When she came back dragging a leafy bush for Baby, the three eggs had gone and Snatchosaurus was disappearing behind a waterfall, wiping his hideous mouth on a banana leaf. Scrumptious, he cried. As for Baby, he was hiding in a cave, shaking from nose to tail. This is ridiculous, boomed Brachiosaurus. Then she had her big idea. Snatchosaurus is a very dangerous dinosaur, she said. So it's obvious. We need to find an even more dangerous dinosaur to catch him. But where can we find a dinosaur like that? Asked Stegosaurus cautiously. We will make one, came the reply. So they got out their scissors and their pencils and their paper and their card, and their paints, and their sticky tape. And they made a Catch-a-Snatchosaurus. And the famous Snatchosaurus was never seen again. Right, are you ready, Grey Group, for your speedy green words today? And I'm going to start with two seconds, like yesterday, and then we'll do another one at one second. Are you ready? I'm going to shuffle it. Ready, steady, go.
Were you quick? Remember, the whole point of the Speed of Green Words is to practice your fluency. The quicker you read, the better. So let's try it with one second. Are you ready? So I'll put it to one. Ready, steady, go. That was quick, wasn't it? Well, well done, children, for reading your speedy green words. They were very speedy today, weren't they? Now, I would like you to do your second read. And remember, when I show you the book on the screen, you will need to pause the video in order to read it. It won't go at the pace that you read. So remember to pause each page. And also, remember what I'm looking for. Use as much expression as you can. Take note of the punctuation, especially the commas. Make sure you pause and the full stops and make it really interesting. Enjoy the story. Well done, grade group. Now we are going to do our hold a sentence two. So remember, watch my video. My turn, your turn. See if you can copy me. Then write down the sentence, remembering to do the dots and the dashes for the sounds. Check your punctuation. And then I will show you a video of the correct way to write the sentence. Good luck. We need to find an even more dangerous dinosaur to catch him. We need to find an even more dangerous dinosaur to catch him. Are we ready, Grey Group? Let's see if we can remember the sentence. We need to find an even more dangerous dinosaur to catch him. Now, we know that we need speech marks for this sentence because a character is speaking. Capital W for we, finger space, need, well done. Okay, now to spell to, find an even more Dangerous dinosaur to catch him. Now that's the end of the sentence. We put a full stop and then close the speech with a 99. So let's check. Fantastic grey group. Now just check that all of the sentence has been written correctly with the right spellings, the dots and the dashes and the correct punctuation. If you have made any mistakes, just get your purple polish out to fix it. Well done and I will see you tomorrow.